How you doing ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inkson, I'm from IGS Electronics. Today we're going to be cracking on with our uh, Siemens S750 100 series PLC and the first thing we're going to be checking out is a digital input card and uh, Siemens does have a quite a uh, fairly large, not, I'm going to say large, but a big range of uh, 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 input cards that are available out there. The one that we are going to be checking out today is a very common one. So uh, we're going to be looking at the wiring, we're going to look at some uh, uh, fault finding uh, tips and tricks, and uh, also check out uh, briefly on Siemens website uh, what sort of range the, uh, what sort of range Siemens has when it comes down to a uh, for digital inputs. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Without further ado, let's get started. So, ladies and gentlemen, to kick this off, we're going to be using 32 bit, uh, 2 times 16, 24 volt DC input card. It's a quite a big input card and it comes with its own diagnostics. The first thing first, as you can see, lid is easily rolled off now. So, I love it. A lot of improvement since uh, since the, since the uh, S three hundred. So also we have a uh, pull out, easy pull out connector block, which is nicely done. There's two options of it, so you can have a, a spring, spring pushing ones, and with uh, screw ones. So it's up to you. As you can see, the card in here, that one's got a pushing one. So we're gonna get to that some other part later on in the videos so let's talk about a little bit of what is what, what do we see in here before we get to this wiring in here so you can see i have two wires and so for those who have requested it two different colors wires now so yes uh, my uh, 24 volt dc line is going to be red and uh, my 24 volt uh, uh, negative line red is plus white is minus quite straightforward for one uh, from uh, from all the all the time all 24 volt dc lines going to be marked as those two colors as you can see, I have two whites. The reason I have two whites in here because it's sort of as demonstrates a couple of couple of fault finding uh, tips that when uh, you could use if you are uh, trying to fault find what your card is what's going on. So as you can see, here we see the P's in there. Those those that never used to be there. Now it is. Those that is for diagnostics. So that P, if that P is not lit. The, 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 your 24 volt wall, or to your 24 volt line is dead so there's the uh, sensors are, are uh, not working they're not sending anything back and if they are trying to send them back uh, nothing's going to happen because this one in here this cable in here should come directly from the power supply that is powering the sensor switches that you are sending back to this section of the inputs so this should come directly from your power supply if the power supply will be dead your card will know it's dead. So you know and you're going to have to work and you're gonna, not going to have to walk around the place and looking at why, what, what is going on in your PLC. Should, if the diagnostics are uh, activated, it's the, called the wire break, it will pop on the screen. I'll demonstrate in the end of the video saying, hey dude, this section in here doesn't have power. So provided, it could be both sections, provided how you wire it. So, uh, so yeah, so those P's basically telling you that uh, there is a power and uh, the card is uh, good to go. So sit with this one, this plus and this minus in here is actually coming from power supply, uh, this guy in here. And that minus, this minus in here is actually coming from this power supply. And I'll show you what happens when you try to mix. The reason you would want to, uh, one section for one, other section for other one, uh, you, it's, it's, if your machine has got, it's quite a large machine and uses two power supplies, and those two power supplies sending the, send the signals back to your PLC, you can use this card to utilize this card as much as you can with two different power supplies. So one power supply could send uh, the, it, its signals back to this card, this part of the, so let's, let's call it the B part of the section, another power supply, the A power supply, so it could send all these signals back to A part of the uh, section of uh, this as card. It's basically giving you an option to a uh, mix and match. So you can actually have four different sections in here. Four sections, as I say, so four times eight. There's a card for that as well, and individual, if you wish. And there's a 120 volt card. There is a, no, not 110 volt card. There's a 220 volt card. Well, definitely check out William Siemens website. There's a wide, ra wide range of the cards for everybody. So whatever you need, they have it. So there we go. So uh, hopefully uh, this part is right. So as you can see, my plus and minus, 
plus and minus so uh, minus is always required so uh, you know then if you have done the s300 there was always m m used to be your minus and for this for this for these cards for the newer cards now you require plus as well and this plus in here so let's say let's talk about this power supply in here this power supply these sensors that are going to be sending signals back to these inputs in here has to come from that very supply that has to be powered by that very power supply that's powering this this section of the card okay so let's let's get that one clear as well so let's see what happens let's plug this thing in in here as you can see my p went on so that tells me yes my card says i got i've got my power i'm ready send me the signals so those signals now i need to send 24 volt back to these inputs in here so uh let me just zoom out a little bit so i have uh this 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 is the power supply that is 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 powering my switches in here and this part in here so i basically i've got my thermal block in here that comes from the power supply up there so I got that 24 volt going to my switches. So if I pull this one a little bit off and zoom in a little bit, sorry for the angle, but it'll do. So my 24 volt is coming here and they're sort of sending a, uh, let's just remove those headphones if they're not supposed to be there. So uh, all these switches are powered uh, as it's linked out in the back. And then every time I will click now the switch in here, it will send that signal back into your input. And that should work straight away. So what about we oh no no what about what about we are trying to uh use two uh, so like as you can see in here i'm going to be trying to uh use two different negatives to uh, negative from different parts of the different power supply so by using this pin uh, technically if i pull that in it should work but as you can see my p did not work because that indicates you straight away that the power, this this negative is coming from somewhere else. So uh, another thing is, is so uh, well, for the full fighting purposes, if you see the pins in there, look for the two power supplies. If you don't see pins in there, you have uh, no. If you see the pins in there, sorry. So if you see the pins in there, there's one power supply. If you don't see pins in there, there's two power supplies. So by plugging in, as you can see, my other part of the P just come on so here we go so that's pretty much is ready so now i can start sending in my uh, sending in my sensors so my sensors for this purpose for now with later on we're going to start doing uh, tutorial videos on all different types of sensors out there we are going to a uh, we are going to uh, probably use two power supplies for that purpose here we go the one uh, one goes into 18 other one's going to go in 28 when it comes down to bits, I think that's going to be a 15, and that's probably going to be... Oh, no, no, I need to have a look at it. So, so yeah, here we go. So let's zoom in. And as you can see, let me start the switching. All the inputs are coming on. So let's, ha let's have a look. What happens if you activate diagnostics? There we are. So let's go on to the card. And go into inputs as you can see ch ch channel template. So this is where you should sort of set 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 what is what. Another thing I want to mention is as you can see that imp input parameters. There is input delay. This is one of the cards. If you you are able to adjust your in come on your inputs input delays. The reason you have those input uh, input delays is to stop what they call the uh, signal uh, toggling. So uh, basically when you click the button, so sometimes you can accidentally initiate, initiate two signals and it, all sorts of different things can go bad. So Siemens has implemented the, the standard, what they call the standard template they have is got a uh, 3.2 milliseconds. So you can change that if you wish, but be aware so that if you start, the, the, the lower, the lower you, you're reducing your uh, input delay, uh, the the higher basically tidiness it has to be with your sensors and your your uh, uh, what's called the uh, uh, sensors and switches and things like that so none of this toggling can happen so uh, so yeah it's 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 good to have it so as you can see you can you can go all the way to twenty milliseconds so to 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 prevent all these uh, a lot of these things happen it's a pretty cool addition I think I I like it uh, as I said not all the cards allows you to a uh, uh, play with that, but uh, this card, this specific card allows you. So what we're going to do is you can see a diagnostics. For now, let's just put no supply L, L plus. So and let's pump that into the card. All right. 
Send that in. And we're going to go on the card and have a look at it. What happens? There you go. That's done. So let's have a look at it. What happens if you remove the wire? So here we are. So let's disconnect the plus. Boom. And as you can see, all inputs now are saying, hello, mate. I am dead. So there is no power going to it. So uh, let me just depower and put the power back in and show you what happens if the uh, one side, if you're using a two separate, if you want it's got a bit of a juice still in there. So what we're going to do, these pins are fairly easily to be pulled out. So I'm just going to pull this plus one out for now. And let's start it up. Put this guy back on, we no longer need it. Hopefully we already understand how the system works. And if all goes well, one side is going to work, another one is not. So uh, you can have all sorts of uh, plays if you wish to, as you can see. One side now shows it's dead. It says the wire is broken. I'm not, I don't have 24 volt DC supply. Sorry, the system is not working. You need to go investigate. And usually if it's all been set up nicely in the in the actual uh, diagnostics and in your HMI would indicate you exactly where it is. Let's quickly have a look at it. What does it say in here? Into the modules. Come on, load in. Taking his time, right? Local modules. Okay. So here we go, it goes in straight away, it tells you which, uh, uh, well obviously the slot one is obviously PLC is detecting there's an error, and it tells you exactly which slot as well. And if you click on it, if you have this option, you can click on it, look, look at the status, and module error. So let's have a look at this, thing. it tells you where the error is. It'll be quite interesting to see that, I've never done that. Come on. Error, supply voltage missing on input channel 16, so cool. That, ladies and gentlemen, which camera will do for this video. Hopefully this was informative and you are understanding how these digital input cards work. So obviously don't forget that there's other types. As I uh, get my hands on them, I will do my best to uh, give you a tutorial video on that as well. So yeah, for now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash that like if you do enjoy it and subscribe to your channel. See you next video.